so we're getting ready to start the torture test. This is the Halo spray. This is raw paint, and this is Expel film, which has some water bubbles in it, but I'm too lazy to work them out. I don't think it's gonna matter for the test. So uh, let's get started. First test is going to be a BB gun at 20 foot, a um, CO2 powered handheld pistol. So. We're gonna see how it holds up to that. We'll do about six shots in each section, six to 10. Uh, then we're gonna take a key to it and see how it stands up to being keyed. A little further left. There you go, perfect. Get a few more. I'm going to survey the damage. The film took that like a champ. You can see it bubbled around it. Uh, I'm thinking it nicked the paint. We'll have to look and see. Uh, the raw paint, definitely huge pop marks and paint gone. Uh, the film looks like it took it a little bit better. The spray actually looks like it took it a little worse than the film, but better than the regular paint. So. Uh, next, we're going to take a key to it and scratch it like somebody tried to key your car. Uh, and then we're going to peel it off to see what it looks like underneath. All right, key scratch test time. lost a couple of videos didn't turn out right so I'm gonna try and do this and capture anything that got lost uh, we'll copy it will cover the obvious first uh, my clear coat is lifting off my base both the places I applied paint protection uh, that is one of the complaints you hear about paint protection is that it will damage the paint although I, I don't think that is the case here uh, there's two things um, first of all, you're not supposed to put paint protection on fresh paint, and this paint was about two weeks old. Um, but the other thing is, is even some masking tape here where I masked off to do the Halo EFX uh, caused the clear to lift, and it's actually kind of settled back down some as it's just set around in the garage under heat for a couple of days. Uh, I think the reason the clear is lifting is because this wasn't a, a, a true 2K or uh automotive paint that I used for a base coat. It was just some rattle can that I had laying around that I thought would be good enough for a test because I was lazy to, you know, actually mix up and reduce base coat. So, um, kind of regretting that now, but it is what it is. Uh, I think there is something we can take away from it. And that is, if you look at where the x -Pel was versus where the Halo was, the x -Pel lifted the clear much more than the halo so i would think that long term if you were to leave this on for several years uh if you are going to have some paint damage i think uh from peeling it off i would think you'd have a higher chance with the expel than with the halo um, looking at the damage itself uh, you can see this is the base coat clear coat with no protection um the divots in the Paint from the BB gun, which I was using to simulate rocks, um, are very deep. Uh, you know, I can't really get down in there and measure them, but running a fingernail in them, I can't find the bottom of them. It's probably at least half the thickness of this steel divot in it. Obviously, that was overkill for simulating a rock because I've never seen a rock do that. Um, uh, CO2 powered pellet gun at 25 foot is way worse than any rock you'll ever get. So we'll just have to keep that in mind as we evaluate all of these and how well they held up. Um, if you've ever seen a car key before, this is certainly what it looks like uh, all the way through the base, all the way through the clear, all the way through the base into the primer, uh, a deep gouge that, uh, you know, you're gonna have to sand all this out 
respray it with base and put your clear on. Uh, also, the pot mark around the uh, you know the impacts of the BBs is about five millimeters uh, of the base. I'm not talking about the clear because it's lifting anyway. It's about five millimeters on the base. Uh, next, we'll look at the Expel because that's the most popular paint protection product out there, uh, which is a film that you lay down. Looking at the pop marks, they are um, about half to a third the depth of the ones in the base coat clear coat, and they're about two millimeters versus five millimeters, so significantly uh, shallower and smaller. Uh, looking at where I keyed it, you can see a scratch here and here. You can't really see the one that I ran this way. Um, but these keyed marks are not through the clear. You would be able to buff this out most likely. Um, you might have to use a brush to lay on a little clear and then, you know, cut it back. But you could definitely repair this keyed mark. Uh, whereas if somebody keys your car with no paint protection film, uh, you're not repairing that without paint. So, um, you know, I had started this before I read a forum thread basically saying that paint protection was a money grab. I'd already started this project, but I kind of wanted to know the same thing for myself. That's why I was doing this. Um, if you can put paint protection film on your car and key it like this, and then when you take it off, all you have to do is buff it out, I'd say paint protection film works. It's not gonna be bulletproof. It's not going to stop everything. Um, it's clearly not going to stop a BB gun at 25 feet, a CO2 powered one. Um, but you will have a lot less damage uh, in terms of how intense the damage is and how frequent the damage is using a paint protection film. Uh, my test does not say whether you will get damage taking the paint protection film off if you leave it on for three to five years. Uh, because I only left it on for a day. So I can't answer that question, but I can tell you that yes, something like a BB gun could get through your Expel film and cause damage, but the film will drastically reduce the uh, intensity of the damage and the quantity of it. And it's pretty good against people keying your car. Looking at where the halo was, it lifted a much smaller area. And in my estimation, it peeled off or cleanly. Now it did break into several pieces as I was peeling it off, whereas the Expel all came off in one sheet. Um, but it didn't feel like it was sticking as hard and it lifted much easier. And, and you can kind of tell that by it lifted a smaller area than the Expel did. Uh, looking at the damage it protected against, the pop marks on the BBs do seem to be a little bigger. Uh, if these are two and these are five this is probably three or four um but it's actually even shallower i can reach all the way to the bottom of it there and if i run my finger here it is a shallower and shorter divot so if you did get a rock that was hard enough that it broke through the film and you had to repair it i think this is going to be a much easier repair for a body guy than either of these um and when it comes to the keys where i keyed it you actually can't find any of them. Um, you can see here where I had one that, that was off the edge going this way, and you can very clearly see it in the base coat clear coat. And since I haven't, you know, taken some alcohol to this and cleaned off the residue, you can see exactly where the line was and it just disappears. So the halo protected better against keying. Um, depending on your definition of better, it protected better against the uh, BBs in my opinion, um, and it appeared to peel off a little easier. Now the one downside is it did appear, if you saw earlier in the video, to tint the color just a tiny bit. Um, but I think that was my fault when I sprayed it. Um, I don't know if you watched that video, it was a separate video, um, or if you even caught it if you did, but I mixed it with a mixer uh, that had previously had some other paint on it, and I didn't realize that it was a red mixing blade. Uh, like this one that I bought a fresh one of after that and uh, it had a little bit of red Plasti Dip on it and so uh, my Halo EFX got tainted with a little bit of 
red plastic dip, and I think that's what's causing the, the tinting of it. I think a uh, brand new can wouldn't have that issue. I think I brought that on myself. So uh, that's kind of where where my torture test ended. Um, personally, I'm going to be spraying the Halo EFX on my personal vehicle uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, to me, I feel like it protects a little better and it's a little less likely to damage when you lift it. Um, Two, it is significantly cheaper. Um, on a DIY basis, it's about half the price to buy the supplies to spray Halo EFX as it is to spray, I mean, to roll out Expel. Um, and three, I suck at rolling out films. I always get air bubbles in them that I can't get out, uh, but I'm pretty decent with an HVLP. Uh, I guess the one thing I forgot to mention here in case... Uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the earlier videos that the Halo EFX was eight layers of Halo EFX with three layers of Sherwin Williams clear on top of it. The Expel was regular Expel. This here is some rattle can base with three coats of Sherwin Williams clear on it. So, hope that information is useful to you guys.